economy grew over the first two quarters of this year. Housing prices, the stock market, they're both up. And even Moody's has upgraded the U.S. credit outlook to stable from negative. But at least one person is saying, not so fast. Peter Schiff is the head of the investment firm Euro Pacific Capital. He is joining us now from Weston, Connecticut. Good morning to you. Welcome to our program. Good morning and thanks for having me on. So why do you believe that the U.S. is headed for an economic disaster even worse than the one that we saw back in 2008? All right, well, first of all, I was also one of the few people to have accurately forecast the last disaster when the same people who are now saying everything is great uh, are oblivious to an even greater disaster that is looming. But, you know, you talked about the U.S. economy is doing well. That's just according to the government. But even if you look at their numbers, we got the GDP numbers that came out uh, yesterday, and people are making a big deal that the economy grew at 1.7%, which was better than estimates. But if you recall, uh, in the first quarter of 2013, the government first estimated that the GDP grew at 2.5%. But yesterday, they revised that down to just 1.1%. I believe by the time they finish revising the second quarter numbers down, it'll be close to zero. In fact, in order to get a 1.7 percent print, the government had to assume that inflation at an annualized rate in America was just seven tenths of one percent. Now, I don't believe that for a minute. In fact, if the inflation rate that they used or the deflator was accurate, it would have already revealed that the United States is in a recession right now. In so, fact, it has been in a recession for the entirety of the Obama presidency. Okay, so are you suggesting that the American government is misleading the public and giving out inaccurate information? <laughs> Well, I'm not suggesting it. I'm saying it. That is what they're doing. All right. You know, that, that's what, how the government designs these numbers. They're deliberately designed to paint a rosier picture of the economy. Every time they go and change the methodology, they do it in a way that's more favorable. So when they measure inflation, uh, they get a lower number. When they measure unemployment, they deliberately get a lower number. When they measure GDP, they get a higher number. Right? It's not really information. It's more like propaganda. And individuals and investors...